Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jean Damour Hajengimana. I'm one of trainer in automotive transmission from Lisedor Hwang Chirezi TVT School. I'm going to continue the teaching our session, which is the model, model, model. Is the live train the live train drive train maintenance drive train maintenance? So, as you have seen, it is not the, the first one that you are going to learn this, this model because I've told you about the types of the live, even if the uh, the component or other devices which will help us to make a vehicle moving, yes? So, a drive train, a drive train, I've told you, it is like a transmission of the vehicle, means that in this module, I've told you that we learn the transmission of the vehicle, means that all devices which will help us transmit the engine torque, means that there is the, the torque which has been generated by the engine, and those devices will help us to transmit the engine torque from flywheel, yes, where the, to, the, to the driver wheel. So, as you have seen, I've told you that this drivetrain, it will compose, it will compose by those devices from the engine, from the engine, and then I've told you that you have a clutch, and then you have a gearbox, and you have a propeller shaft, then after you have a differential as we have seen. So we have also the axles and the and the driver wheel and the driver wheel. So here as we have seen the, I think that everybody is aware reminding this schematic diagram you have engine you have engine you have a clutch a clutch we have a gearbox, gearbox, we have a propeller shaft, propeller shaft. We have also final driver, final driver with differential, final driver and the axles, yes, to the driver, driver wheel to the driver wheel. So, as you have seen, I've told you that all those devices will help us to transmit the engine torque to the, the driver wheel, meaning that it will help the vehicle moving. So, the session for today, we are going to learn what he calls clutch. Mm -hmm. Clutch, a clutch, a clutch system. A clutch system. This is a clutch system. It is one it is also a device of drivetrain component which will help us to transmit the engine torque through, yes, input shaft to the, live, to the, to the gearbox. So, the class system also it has the function of connecting and dis disconnecting and disconnecting a rotating, a rotating shaft. So, uh, it, this device it has many functions. It has many functions. So, I have to tell you that at the end of this, this session, every learner will be able to understand the definition of clutch, yes, the function of clutch, the component of clutch, and how he can, he can remove the clutch component only on the vehicle, so as the clutch mechanism, means that mechanical clutch control and the hydraulic clutch control. So, in this time, let us say the, some of the functions some function is, some function is of, of clutch. As I have told you, as I have told you, a clutch system has the function of connecting and disconnecting a rotating shaft. It has also the function of transmitting engine torque to the gearbox. It also damp torsional vibration, as I've said. It has main function, so for well understanding, this clutch component system, it has also, it has also many devices, as you have seen here, as you have seen here, here you have many components, 
main component composing the clutch system means that a system it is a set of devices connected together in order to achieve on the same on the same goal so first of all clutch a clutch system it will be composed by a flywheel this is a flywheel so do you remember that in level 3 you are still studying in level 3 first of all we have well understanding how to understand the devices so to understand first of all the component the component is composing the system and then after you will be able to remove to remove means that dismount and mount those devices and even if disassemble and assembling the devices even if on the engine or in the vehicle in the in general so first of all let us try to understand or to observe how the clutch component are I look like if say the clutch component so i've told you that it is a set of those devices connected together in order to achieve in order to achieve on the same and the same goal a clutch core system is composed by many devices uh, there are some driving parts which composed by flywheel this is a flywheel this is uh, a flywheel this one it is also composed by a clutch disc this is a clutch disc. I will tell you. I will tell, I will tell you the component of the clutch disc. We have also the pressure plate. The pressure plate. We have the thrust bearing, and there is other devices that we will see in, by using or using a vehicle because they are connected together. Those are what we call the clutch a clutch mechanism. So let us start from let us start from a clutch disc. So. This device to work a great work in the clutch system because it is one which will help us to transmit the engine torque through the flywheel, through the flywheel, and then to the gearbox. So this disc must have some properties for well achieve, for well achieving it to its goal because because of high friction, high friction. It must resist to temperature or to the wear, even if it must uh, resist to damage. So it has some devices to have the hub here. This is, this is the hub. Have the damper to the spring damper or damp, damper spring. We have the clutch lining. This is the clutch linings. We have to derive it. So this disc, we have two types of disc. Some, some of them are rigid, have rigid and flexible and flexible disc. So here we have a pressure plate. This pressure plate, this is a diaphragm pressure plate, diaphragm spring, yes. Because here you have the, the diaphragm spring tongues. This pressure plate has the function of connecting this disc to the, to the flyway to the flywheel means that we keep the, mo the motion of, of the, the disc on the, on the flywheel. So first of all, let us try to show you how we will remove a pressure plate and clutch a disc on the, on the engine. So for removing, for removing, here we have an engine. This engine in the vehicle has the function of generating the torque, which will be needed to to help the vehicle moving, yes. So here, this part, it is the part of clutch system from here to the, to the flywheel and other devices which are located inside of um, these, those devices. So let us, let us try to remove those devices. Let us try. First of all, you have to choose the tools which will be fitted here in order to help you removing the pressure plate. First of all, you have, remove, have to remove the pressure plate. The pressure plate, it is, called, it is fixed by those, those, those boards. So during removing this one, you have to untighten this, those boards for removing this pressure plate. This pressure plate, try to to erase all of them.
during removing this pressure plate, you have to mix the bolt for well removing because if you open the bolt on the same side, it will not be able to remove the pressure plate because they will be to build the misalignment of the pressure plate. So the pressure plate will be removed with with it's the, the disc. So do you see that you have a, have a disc and also we have you have a pressure plate. So then we are going to remove then we are going to remove a flywheel. Will be removed by using 17, 14, 14 socket and So I will remove those, have to remove those boards. Yes, this is a fry wheel. So, <coughs> sometime, sometime you will need to disassemble or to dismount to dismount this car system. Car system when there is a problem of of clutch slip, of clutch slip or clutch drag. So, if there is clutch slip, sometime there is a problem of clutch linings. Yes. Those are the catch linings. Sometimes they will, they have been, we, they will be weird of those catch linings. If there is a weird, means that whenever you are pushing the clutch pedal, the vehicle will not get there. There are talks which will help us to, which will help the vehicle moving. Or here we have also these devices called main seal of the engine. Sometimes they will get a linkage, a linkage of oil from the engine or from the oil pan and pass through, the, pass through this main seal, meaning that at that time, does the seal, it will be the magic, and pass through input of the, input of the, 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 the gearbox shaft and pass and go to the, the, to, to the, to the disc. In that time, the clutch, there will be a crutch, a crutch strip. So, this main seal has the function of preventing the out, the out of, preventing the linkage of oil from the oil pan to the, to the crutch system because this crutch system must operate without the, the oil inside, inside of those component. So, I think that you are well understanding how, how those Right. We're understanding how those uh, clutch components are being installed on, him, on the engine. So now we're going to see how also we mount those devices on, on, the, on the engine. First of all, we have to fix, first of all, we have to fix the flywheel. Have to fix the flywheel. This smooth edge must be, must be in front and then 
have to see if the board will be where tighten will be where tighten if to, you see the hole you have to fix two of those hole in different in different position to help you to tight all boards Yes. So if that does two boards will be able to fix other board which has been removed only this on this flywheel. And then we will mount a clutch disc with pressure plate on, on the flywheel. Here we have and then tighten the bolt. First of all, you have to check, you have to check if this clutch disc, it is well adjusted in the center of, of this pressure plate in order to prevent the misalignment of gearbox while we are going to connect, while we are going to connect a gearbox to the, to the clutch system. And then it is well adjusted and then have to tight, have to tight, have to tight those both of, those both of, of pressure plate, yes. Pressure plate it is very tightened to the, it is very, is very tightened to the, to the flywheel. So, as you have seen, this clutch system it is composed of those devices. We have seen their, their functions. So it is composed by those flywheel, clutch disc, pressure plate, so as the other devices which will help us to transmit those engine torque from the engine, yes, because this engine it is one which will help us to, uh, to generate the torque in order to make our vehicle moving, means that this device it is one of transmission devices or transmission component, which will help transmit the engine torque to the, to the gearbox. So here, we, we see those devices driving move component, but there is other mecha clutch mechanism which will help us transmit the driver forces, means that during pushing the clutch pedal in order to engage or disengage or disengage a clutch system. As I have told you, we have mechanical clutch system, which is a, a mechanical or hydraulic clutch, clutch system, are therefore boost, boosting the driver, the driver forces. So let us see those devices which will help us to boost the driver forces during transmitting the clutch component to the the clutch during the engaging or disengaging a clutch system. So, as I have told you about clutch, 
I've told you that you have some driving devices which will help you to transmit the engine talk to the variable speed DGI box, but for transmitting those talk, there is a, an intervention of drive in the clutch, in the clutch mechanism. In the clutch mechanism, you have a mechanical clutch mechanism and the hydraulic, hydraulic clutch mechanism. The function of clutch mechanism, it is to boost or to help the driver forces or to make the driver using a small forces during transmitting the, during pushing the clutch pedal. So, clutch mechanism it is composed by clutch pedal, uh, clutch cables or clutch pipes. We have also the master cylinder. We have also, this is master cylinder. This is master cylinder. In master cylinder, it put, there is clutch fluid. This is a crash fluid, means that means that, um, this crash fluid helps the, the, the boost the driver forces for, for transmitting the pressure, the pressure. So you have the crash lines. It is where the hydraulic fluid or crash fluid you pass through in order to achieve to the sleeve cylinder. Here we have sleeve cylinder, means that this sleeve cylinder takes the forces come from the Master seed in the end, push this crash fork. This is the crash fork. This one, this one crash fork. Have a sleeve seed in them. Meaning that when the drive, when the driver pushing the crash pedal, we see the motion, the motion of this piston coming from. Do you see? Do you see this motion? This motion, it is caused by the crash fluid which is stored inside of the master seed in them. So, when the driver pushing does crash pedal, it will not use much force for transmitting, for transmitting, or for engaging or disengaging the clutch, the clutch system. So I have told you that the clutch it is installed in the vehicle with, for helping the transmission, for helping the transmission of the transmission of engine torque to the to the gearbox. So the gearbox also have told you that in drivetrain it is there for converting or help the gear, gear shifting or gear changing. So those devices, those devices from from flywheel, clutch disc, pressure plate, uh, clutch clutch pedal, master cylinder, clutch cables or pipes, up to the slip cylinder clutch fork. Uh, and trust bearing, it is a set of those devices which will help us to transmit the engine torque from the engine, yes, because the engine is for generating those torques to the other devices which we need to help the vehicle, the vehicle moving.
thank you for your kind attention. If you have a question, you will contact me on my number, which are 0788931137. So at the end of the next session, we will see where those talks or those talks transmitted by the engine will pass through, meaning that we will see how the gearbox work by seeing its function in the vehicle, definitions, the types, uh, and, and so on. So thank you for your kind, for your kind attention.